Nintendo's best horror game? The Nintendo GameCube missed out on some of its generation's best third-party titles, but it made up for this with premium Nintendo exclusives. Perhaps lost in the shuffle of Zelda, Mario, and Smash Brothers, Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem was a hit generations in the making. Originally planned for the Nintendo 64, Eternal Darkness released on the GameCube in 2002, becoming one of the few M-rated games to release on Nintendo's kid-friendly console. The plot is fairly complex, tracing devious forces from Persia in 26 BC to Rhode Island in 2000 AD, making stops in other locations in between. In all, there are 12 playable characters, and players control them in a winding, rotating fashion that works remarkably well. Gameplay-wise, the similarities to Resident Evil are pretty clear. A third-person action-adventure with plenty of monster fighting and puzzle solving. There was also the much-hyped Sanity Meter, which filled as you encountered more enemies. As it filled, the game would gradually become, for lack of a better word, weirder. Walls and doors and enemies would appear and reappear, and eventually the fourth wall would break, even giving gamers fake error messages. Out of all of the game's features, Nintendo marketed this one the most, and it worked perfectly. Top to bottom, even with the lofty mission statement, the game accomplished everything it set out to achieve, and is rightfully considered one of the GameCube's best games.